All right, if you have access to a telescope or can borrow one from somebody, let me show you something that you can do with your telescope, and I'm gonna show you something you should not do with your telescope when viewing the um, solar eclipse coming up. So if you look over here, you'll notice that I actually have the sun projected over onto this table. And so I just have the telescope pointed directly at the sun, and then it actually comes out of the eyepiece and it shows on any surface you want and so what's going to happen is when the eclipse happens you're actually going to start seeing i got my lens cap here you're actually going to start seeing you know the moon move in front of the sun and of course if you're further south if you can hear utah it's going to go ahead and miss it a little bit it'll take about almost three hours for that process to happen so that's a good way to actually show everybody. And I'm gonna show you one thing that you definitely don't want to do. Um, you never want to look through this, even with um, solar, the Eclipse solar glasses on. Grant, Grant's gonna show us what happens with you, uh, if you try to look through this with your solar glasses, solar <laughs> Eclipse glasses on, it burns a hole right through it. <laughs> it's like here put them on let's see let's see them <laughs> turn this way a little bit yeah you can see through them now huh you yeah. wouldn't want that that beam to burn into your eye yeah so if you're going to use a filter on your telescope you actually have to put the filter on on the light before it enters the telescope so you'd have to get a big solar eclipse filter and actually put it on the front of your telescope before it enters it in Anyway, there's some do's and don'ts, some things you can do. So I'm gonna go ahead and readjust this and get the solar, get the sun right there again. <laughs> 